I'm here with Gio with AIM Shoot Develop. Today we're going to be talking about this camera, the Polaroid Autofocus 660. It's a demo unit, so it has a transparent covering. Um, we're going to talk about this camera, a few other demo cameras, other transparent cameras that were put on the market, and uh, talk about some other future of things for modifications for SX-70s and 680s. So we're just going to get into it. Uh, this camera right here uh, was only given out as a demonstration for Polaroid resellers or authorized distributors. Yeah, uh, it was. It originally came with stickers on it, so it had stickers. I believe a two here, one or one two. I'll try to find an image of it and link it on the side here. But it originally had stickers on it. This one itself has some wear from use, so it has you know, some yellowing here, some yellowing on the front. The back's pretty okay, but due to the transparency of the camera, since it was a demo unit. You can't actually take pictures with this. The light would seep through. There's even little holes here, but the light would seep through and it would just ruin the pack. So this is definitely just as a demonstration. It's pretty cool. It has the flash, regular button. Here's what it looks like. There's the meter, some of the internals, where the batteries connect, all the terminals. Overall, really cool camera. I had messaged uh, an Instagrammer by the name of Brian. I'll link his Instagram down below. I'll put some images here. He has basically three different models in this one. So he has the same Polaroid 660, but with a back, a bottom that has the regular bottom for the commercial release of the 660. So it basically has, it's this top, but with a regular bottom for a, thing, for a Polaroid autofocus 660. So it's, it's, it's basically, we're not too sure. We'd messaged back and forth for a while, but we're not too sure if it'll work or not. He doesn't. He's from Singapore. Uh, shout out to Brian for messaging me. Really cool conversation about cameras. But basically, the bottom, we don't know if it works. He doesn't know if it works. He's kind of scared to test it. But I think he should just give it a go regardless. I think it's really cool. But he also owns a the Polaroid One Step Six Hundred, so which is the original without the flash, where it has the little indentation to put a flash on top, which is really crazy. I've, I'd never seen that before. I'd put it on my Instagram, uh, link below. It'd be Instagram, aim period shoot period develop, aim shoot develop. And I post some of the images of some of the rare cameras that I, that I see or something that I've never seen before. So make sure to check that out. But basically that one has the rainbow stripe down the bottom, but it doesn't have a flash unit. So my guess is they had put those out before uh, they had put out the, there's the One Step 600, and then they had put a Sun 600, which is this, basically this whole unit, but without the sonar. And then they had put out this unit, or maybe the bottom one with something. I, I'm going to put an image here, a little, with a little Ken Burns effect so you can see the differences. I'll make sure to put it for a while, but basically those cameras I had never seen before, and I believe they're in much better shape than mine. They look a little bit more clearer and crispier. Mine has some wear to it, but I still cherish this. I think it's one of the coolest things in the world. There's also, they had made, I believe it's a US release, but they also made a Polaroid Super Color Elite, which is basically, it just has this top. It's a 600 box type of camera. It has this top, but the rest of it is a black color, I believe gold button, which is one of the only times it has gold. And it has Super Color Elite, Elite here would be on the side, but it's basically gold text, black, black body, but with a top frame. It had been released commercially. Uh, these ones, these cameras, like the demo units, had never been had a commercial release. So basically, the only way to get them is if you knew somebody who was a, a photographer, or a, not a photographer, uh, authorized seller. If they had a camera store, or it just slipped through the cracks where. So it someone had sold off a collection and it got somewhere and somewhere. I purchased purchased this one online from eBay itself from a seller from Japan. Um, they don't come up too often, and when they do come up, they're pretty pricey. I definitely paid a paid a pretty penny ugh, paid a pretty penny for this camera. Um, I won't disclose how much, but it's you know I'm just glad to have it in my collection. I don't plan on selling it soon, but more than anything, this, this camera itself is very very desirable. I get messages about it all the time due to the transparency. It kind of is a nostalgic thing for me. Like, basically, 
it's kind of a 90s theme. The 90s really had a trend of making everything transparent. And, you know, it's kind of like looking at a How It's Made video or just, you know, checking out the innards of something. Just the curiosity of people, you know, you can see past how every little mechanism works. Unfortunately for this camera, it does not work. So I would show you how it works or I would show you the testing. But as soon as I put a pack film, it will just start winding the thing. I believe this mechanism inside here is broken to where it just wants to keep pushing the button in. It just keeps cycling and cycling. So it, it, would, it would get annoying on video to watch, but uh, if I get enough people asking about it, I'll show you how it, how it cycles, but it in another video. But for the time being, just wanted to talk more about some of the rare uh, Polaroid commercially and non-commercially available cameras. The, the Supercolor Elite, I had only seen a handful of. They say it's a US release in very limited numbers. Uh, it had been posted, it had been, I believe it said it was sold around the same time as the really common, it's not as common, but it's definitely a treat. It's a, the Spectra Onyx camera. I'll post a picture right here. Uh, the Spectrix on the Spectra Onyx camera, which has, the, it's a Spectra camera with a transparent top. And I believe the 600 type that Spectra, Supercolor Elite was sold around the same time as that Spectra Onyx camera. So the only thing is that it didn't have that much of a release, so it's very desirable. The Spectra, on, the Spectra Onyx camera is still available online. Polar Originals is back and forth with the Spectra film, but so far I believe they still have it in stock as of right now, as of this posted of this video. So you can still pick up a Spectra camera, kind of get the same feels of the transparency, and you know something cool. It's it's not as rare as some of these other cameras, but nonetheless, it's such a really really nice camera. I have one in my collection. Uh, I'd have to dig it out of storage, but I think it's really, really cool just to have, just to own as a display piece, a conversation starter. More than anything, um, some of the other things that I had seen that is also available for modifications, one sec. Is here's a Polaroid 680. I'm not gonna use a sonar because it has a, a bouncing sound when I click on the on the thing. Uh, when you use the sonar on video, it, it makes like a, a noise, and I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. But basically, I had seen there's a few sellers. I'll link some images. Some people here that made custom housings for the 680 and the sonar model. So the SX70 is with sonar model, where they make custom housings where they 3D print, I believe, with a clear a clear filament, so you can see the internals of this because it's not actually connected to the mechanism that allows the light in you can you can pretty much make this clear and kind of have the similar look like the super color elite or kind of like this camera so you get the same feel it's fairly new i haven't seen too much talk about it there's not really a commercial thing plus modifying it and taking this piece off does take a little bit of know-how there's not much tutorials on it if i learn how to do it or if i get my hands on something like that i'll definitely keep you guys posted on that so i think that's really cool something in the future that you can get a taste of, you know, the past on a camera with a little bit stronger hardware. And I think that's really cool. So uh, thanks so much to everybody who messaged me about the transparent cameras or let me use the images for the video. I'm going to link some Instagrams down below to make sure to check out those people. They're definitely doing a lot for the instant community, not just posting pictures, but definitely just talking about cameras. I, I really enjoy that. Um, if you have any more questions, make sure to link them down below in the comments, or you can DM me on Instagram. I'm more than happy to help with pretty much anything troubleshooting. I'm trying to tie together the instant community, uh, film photographers, or just people who are curious about it. I definitely like talking about people just having fun. For me, the instant photography goes back to, to when I was younger, and it's really fun experience for me, like, you know, just seeing the pictures of the past and knowing I can do that now or capture a moment now in you know in a one of one image digital so prevalent you know analog phot film photography is really cool and it's really on the rise and so i really love the fact that instant photography is still alive that you know there's more companies coming out with more cameras fuji's still producing film like the instax mini the instax wide you know and the instax square now so i'm really stoked for the future of the instant instant photography i'm really excited about it i'm going to keep posting videos with more updates um, about cameras, about film, about new items, like new cameras, some analog cameras, some like Kickstarter stuff, or some things that definitely caught my eye that's worthwhile of talking about. So definitely stay posted. 
uh, make sure to just stay in touch. I'll try to post more videos. I believe this is the second day of posting videos. I'll try to post one. I'll try to post one at least once a week, but I'm trying to consistently post so you guys know what I'm into, what I'm looking at, and what you guys are into, basically. Make sure if I have, there's something I don't know about, uh, make sure to shoot it my way. So thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Alrighty, take care. Bye.